Hey guys, what's up? You know, I always say that. Um, so we're just going to go over a very simple but deep com concept. Um, it's very complex, as above, so below, um, in its simplicity. Okay, it's not, those four words aren't in the Bible in that order. Um, <clears throat> but the Bible has verses that do um, sort of insinuate this concept. Okay, and the first one, of course, is my favorite. It's regarding the stars. It's uh, Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God. Okay, that means space and the constellations are telling the story of scripture that's been written down. And actually the stars are older than the Bible, okay? And they've been there well before the New or Old Testaments were written, obviously. Okay, and every other culture has kind of gotten close to it, but the scripture is what's truly explaining these constellations' um, archetypes, to be honest, I swear. And that as above, so below also pertains to literally earth, okay? The book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 19, says, uh, God shows wonders in the heavens above and signs in the earth beneath. And now, of course, the Groxt is looking down at earth and finding the same exact figures, these kind of cartoonish figures that are corresponding to archetypes that the Bible clearly explains. Okay, and obviously I've been going into that since 2012. Um, but that's just another extension of this concept, okay? Now it's uh, Isaiah 29, 15, and 16. As above, so below regards language as well, the word of God, and other um, languages too. So it says, Woe to them that hide their counsel from the Lord, and surely your turning things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So these Illuminati secret societies think they can hide stuff to, from the masses by turning it upside down. And that they do do that. <laughs> and so this concept can also be abused. Okay, a lot of these Freemasons, for instance, the KJV and the Shakespeare First Folio, all those codes were created by men, not angels or prophets like the Word of God and all those codes. It's created by secret societies <clears throat> who are trying to imitate God. Okay, and you're trying to make codes as good as God's gematria, but it'll never be as good as God's gematria in Hebrew and Greek. But all these Freemasons are trying to top God, okay? Anyway, the last one is wisdom itself. In the Wisdom of Solomon um, 7.26 is the only time the word mirror is used, and it's used in regards to wisdom. And I was, <clears throat> I only looked up mirror because... That's what these people do and turn things upside down and back and forth and it reads the same thing or it reads something the opposite. So <laughs> so it's funny that the only time <clears throat> mirror is used is once in the entire Bible. And it's Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 726. She, wisdom, is the brightness of the everlasting light and the unspotted mirror of the power of God and the image of goodness. I think it's very interesting that we're talking about not only how people hide knowledge through backwards stuff and hiding songs, you know, by playing it backwards, obviously, with Sgt. Pepper and Led Zeppelin and all that shit. Um, but the Bible does it too. <laughs> and so when we look for the word mirror, it's talking about that's what wisdom is, is a mirror. Is, and from all sides, it's perfect. Okay? Anyway, sorry. Uh, kind of ranted a little bit, but I think those four verses are kind of interesting um, in regards to as above, so below literally, spiritually, uh, theologically, and geographically. Okay, take it easy.